As important as identifying bed bugs, it's important to identify bed bug droppings. Bed bug droppings are black and inky and tarry, like anything that eats blood for a living. Here you can see they come out as little stains. They also come out as uh, little grains, little grainy droppings, and there's also big black tarry blobs that can happen when you have large infestations. Good place to look is in seams. You can't just look along the seams. You've got to look inside them. You've got to be able to see back in where the bed bugs hide. Oh, ho, there's one now. See where they naturally go? This one's going to come in looking for a crack or a crevice to hide in. We have a couch section here. It used to be part of a couch. Now it's part of the props. Generally, when we have furniture, this is what it looks like to us. But this is what it looks like to the bed bugs. As you can see, there's lots of places to get in and lots of places to hide. When you're looking for bed bugs on a couch, you're generally rolling back seams and looking underneath to see what kinds of things you can find. Looking under the seams, that's where we'll find bed bugs. Well, those aren't bed bugs, but those are the cast skins. Oh, say, look what we have here. Bed bugs in their natural environment. 